Moments with Dr. Gretor brought to you by the Ashley Clinic in Chanute, Kansas. Awareness Month for Autism, that's April, and Autism Speaks gives some statistics. From 2020 data, 1 in 36 children in the U.S. was diagnosed with an ASD, or Autism Spectrum Disorder. Boys more frequently. Autism can be reliably diagnosed as early as age 2, though an awful lot of people aren't found until they are older. An estimated 25 to 30 percent of people with autism are nonverbal or minimally speaking. 31 percent of children with ASD have an intellectual disability, but 44 percent have normal or higher intelligence. Nearly half of those with autism wander or bolt from safety, and so this makes drowning a leading cause of death for children with autism. Autism can affect the whole body. Many are felt to have attention deficit disorder. Chronic sleep problems abound. Anxiety issues and sensory issues are huge for autistic children. Chronic GI disorders, whether it's constipation or just poor diet, are often seen. And epilepsy is seen in as many as one-third of people with autism. The only medications approved by the FDA are risperidone and aripiprazole. So what are some of the other symptoms besides the language? Well, children don't want to make eye contact. Oftentimes, they'll have movements that are called self-stimulating behaviors or stemming, and this can be repetitive movements, especially with the fingers hand flapping or rocking. Often, these kids are OCD. They have to have everything exactly in an order. They'll often hold their hands, especially, but sometimes their other body parts in abnormal positions. Positions. So what to do? Keep those doctor appointments so you know what the development is for your child. And if you are ever worried about your child having any of these symptoms, call your doctor right away. Give that kid a hug.